Hi and welcome to part three of my using the gift bag punch board. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a gift bag with a little flap that folds over the top as a lid. Here's the sample that I've got for you today. So it's the same size and shape of bag as we made on Monday. There's Monday's bag, same size and what have you. But this time we have a little flap lid that comes from the back over the top and acts as a nice closure for our bag. And I'm going to be showing you how to make that bag today. <clears throat> as I explained to you on Monday, and again in yesterday's video, the way your bag is made up, you need to allow one and a quarter inches for the base section of the bag. And that flap there is actually just one of the base flaps added onto the top of the bag. So however high you want your bag, you've got to add your one and a quarter inches for the bottom, but then one and a quarter inches for the flap as well. So I'm making this bag again, which is which I said to you um, on Monday is my favourite size. And it's based on a piece of paper six inches high and 12 inches wide. So for my piece of card today, I've added another one and a quarter inches to that. So I'm starting with a piece of card seven and a quarter inches high and 12 inches wide. So here's my piece of paper, card, sorry. <clears throat> And we're just going to quickly whiz through. I'm going to put that horizontal line in straight away. I've remembered today. I'm going to pop that all the way across before I forget. So I've done my first punch. This is a large bag, remember, so I'm going to put in the large line. Across. I'm going to pop in a side now with that centre side score. I'm doing this fairly quickly because obviously you saw me go over the basics on Monday and I'm sure you've gotten the hang of them now. Another side with that centre score and that triangle. Oh, and that last, I need to put that last punch in, don't I? There we go. So we've created the base of the bag, the same as we did on Monday. So now we want that lift over flap that we're going to want on this piece of the card. So we're going to flip the card over that way. So this is the same edge that lined up last time. I flipped it over front to back. We're going to pop it under. We're going to punch. We're going to move it across to the first score line. And we're going to punch again. And that's it. That's all we have to do. It really is that simple. Now, the other thing is, obviously, to fold the flap over, you're going to want a score line to do that. So, in theory, you just need that, that bit scored. But I'm going to score the whole thing all the way across because then that gives me a nice line I can cut along in a minute to get rid of the card that I don't need. So, we'll get rid of those things for a moment. <clears throat> So here we have, this is going to be the back of the bag today because the lid obviously comes from the back over to the front. We've got the side, what's going to be the front of the bag, the other side and then our tab to stick it all together. So this is the lid that's going to go over the top. All of this bit along this score line, we don't need all of that so we're going to cut it away. So that can go and obviously this bit we don't need because that's excess from the base so we can get rid of that now we really just assemble it the same way as we did the bag on Monday to be honest I'm going to stamp on this bag today so I'm going to have it round the right way up for a minute so as I said this piece is the front of the bag because that's the back where the flap's going to come over the front so I'm going to stamp on it today. I'm using the All About Sugar stamp set that was new in the annual catalogue this year. And it's been designed. 
designed to coordinate with the fry box and if you've watched some of my past videos you'll know that I absolutely love the fry box but I don't think you should limit your stamps to just being what they've been designed for I'm sure they can all be used in lots of different ways so I'm going to use that stamp set on this bag today so I'm going to stamp that down on there <clears throat> and as you'll see on my sample I've used the cute open here stamp on the lid the flap the closure part so to do that we want to make sure this is the right way around so I'm going to flip it over because this is the way up that it's going to be when the bag is finished so I'm going to ink that up now I've stamped that one in real red in case you're wondering this one's in Bermuda Bay and I'm going to pop that on there because I think that's really cute because that's the way you're opening the bag I think that's really sweet so now I've done the stamping that I need to do beforehand you can go ahead and fold all the scores and assemble the bag up go the base flaps and there's that flap to close it so I'm going to put some tape on here and then so that I can stick it down I'm going to pop some tape on that one that one you'll see I'm sticking my sides down today and on that one <clears throat> so let's go ahead the backing on this tape isn't all staticky like the old red tape so it doesn't stick to your fingers which I have to say I am liking because I used to find that all around the house so I've forgotten to do those side scores but I can give them a bit of a So if I then take, take backing of these three base flaps, oh, without sticking it to the table, don't do that. So we'll pop the sides in. As I said to you the other day, take a take a few seconds just to get it all lined up nicely so that it's all square. And we can just pop our hand inside and stick all that down. So it's up to you how you choose to then seal the bag. You could pop a, a little magnet under here or a Velcro dot or something like that. For the sake of speed, I'm actually just using a couple of glue dots to stick mine down. I guess it depends how nice you want it to be so that they can open it and close it or whether you mind that if on opening it, it gets a bit trashed so all you do is pop those like that this folds hopefully folds over the top like that and they just stick down and then obviously you can go ahead and finish your decoration <clears throat> so here's my original so I went ahead and stamped this sweet treats element that's in the stamp set first in Bermuda and then in Cucumber Crush, snipped them out and layered them up on some foam dots and there we go, finished treat bag. So you're not limited to just this size or the board again, like I explained yesterday you can make bigger bags and therefore you can make bigger versions of this as well, the rules are the same so here's just the basics I've created for you. You'll have to check, tune into another video to see what it actually turns into finally when I've decorated it. But basically I've done the same as I did yesterday for making the larger gift bag. I've got a side panel. I've got a back, well this is actually a front panel. 
and then a tab for sticking them together here are the bases and then another piece which is essentially the same the side this is the back and the tab to stick them together the bases but then on this one I've added another base panel to create my fold over top so check back on my other videos to see what this turns into and also some of the other ideas on handles and closures for this bag and all the other bags that you're going to be seeing over the next few days so I hope you've liked today's project and I hope you've realized how simple it is actually just to create that flap they look slightly kind of oh that's really clever but once you know how to do it you're like of course that's really clever so I hope you'll give it a go and I hope you'll tune in for my next video where I'll show you another take and version on it thanks for stopping by <laughs>